All right, guys, welcome back. It's Shay Seeking, and we're still talking about um, the goddess uh, uh, Kali or Kali. Um, so we're just, you know, um, <clears throat> reading this and then just looking at a little information that can help us again with uh, things that are uh, the transition or walk or journey, you know, that we're going through um, at this point in time. And again, you know, there's his story and what it tells about these particular uh, goddesses, empresses, and you know, empires, whatever the historical aspect. Again, you know, um, I believe that Kali again is also a um, a deity that would have something to do with a worldwide type of thing. Meaning, like throughout time, people have lived in different places, different kingdoms, and things were in different places than what we see them in today. And so, again, <clears throat> anyone can apply this to again it will naturally just be you'll naturally be drawn towards the information if it's something that pertains to you you know in your story so um you like you'll read somebody's story and be like dang you know this seems so similar to whatnot or this reminds me of she has the same spirit as whatnot so again a lot of these people are i feel just my again i ain't never here to tell you what it is what it ain't i'm simply sharing what it looks like to me but a lot of these people you know represent I think that these are different deities that have come time over time with the same energy, the same spirit, you know, um, and have been given different storylines within different aspects of what we know as history or mythology or, or folklore or biblical. Again, you can find all of this stuff. Same thing. Uh, I'm, I, I'm sure that they're speaking of Cali or Kali in, um, revelations. So, um, so again, some of the, what are we, you know, if we have these gifts and these things to share, what are we going to be here for? If we have to feel, you know, some kind of way about sharing them with other people again, because this transitioning or this, this, uh, it is a very difficult thing to go through, you know, um, and, you know, so that we don't lose our balance or whatever. I think we should be paying attention to a lot of the stuff. It could lead us to a lot of a, a deeper understanding of, you know, what's going on in this world today and what we've been put here to do. Um, you know, so it says here, the other 11 forms represent very subsequent levels of awareness all the way down to our ordinary unenlightened state from pure formlessness and throughout the countless forms she assumes Kali is the soul reality. Mother is all and all is mother. You know, I can imagine her being someone that said there is no other gods than me. You know, um, you know, because at this point in time, you know, they, they were, you know, they were the gods and goddesses. So, um, okay, it says the earliest uh, description of Kali belongs to the Puraneus. <laughs> Um, and they place her on the battlefield, you know, so like even when we're talking about the lots of uh, different tribes of women um, or women just in general throughout these stories. We'll just call them these stories. We're talking about the whole aspect of all those different compartments of the st story or his story and her story, um, the story. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so. You know, because again, I think we get wrapped up into this information and being very specific. But again, I just read this information to get a better understanding or take it within. You know, I'm not saying that this is the way it happened or anything, but I can just say from all the stuff that I've taken in, uh, you know, you get a better sense of how things may have, if you can be more non-biased and not, you know, regulate everything. And, you know, that's why I just like to keep things up in the air because you don't know who wrote that book, why, if they were telling the truth, who, you know, so the, all of these storylines and everything, it just is what it was or what they said it was, you know, and that's why taking the information in and compartmentalizing it makes it a little bit more beneficial because, you know, you never know. And we're reading these things and sometimes it's telling you that something happened in a certain location, but our location is all the way off because a lot of the stuff didn't even happen in the areas that you perceive that they happen in. They actually happen somewhere totally different. You might be standing on the ground, the very ground that some of these happen, things happen in. If you pay attention to detail, you'll be able to see a lot of times, you know, um, where some of these actual things actually really happen. And this may be a reason why some of us experience other things because of that so 
It could be the very place where your home is sitting, um, a, a, a monument or something nearby. Okay. So it says here, uh, let's see. Okay. The battlefield. Okay. The, I don't know why I have, I'm having these yawning episodes right now, but that's what's going down. <laughs> so excuse me. Um, the Devi may Maha, mm, the Devi Mahat Maya. Okay. Mahat Maya vividly depicts a scene with Kali and her associated goddesses ready to take on an army of demons. Okay. Here Kali has emerged as the personified wrath of the divine mother Durga. She appears uh, emaciated with dark flesh hanging loosely from her bones. Her sunken eyes glow red in their sockets. Now, so I find that funny because if you read about Sekhmet or Sekhmet, um, you will find that Esther, Astara, Ishtar, all of these things, all of these uh, beings, apologies, all of these beings, there have been people that come to say that these are the same particular beings because we're dealing with spirit is what I feel. Um. You know, we're, we're dealing with something that was divine, you know, um, and I say was because it still is. But what we've been taught is that this stuff happened in the past when not that we may be looking at it as these spirits are still going on, you know, um, and these souls or whatnot, however you want to look at it. Again, I don't try to get too whatever specific because, again, what is the truth <laughs> of it all? What is the truth? But again, seeing these things and really taking them in helps me open up different doorways. It's just the way that my mind works and the way that my my energy is. It may not work the same for everybody else, but, you know, um, again, so, when you know, a lot of people get upset. They don't, you know, they don't want people, you know, we, we're on all these new things that's coming up now. Like, oh, don't, you know, words are, you know, of course, you know, these things cast, but even when I'm reading the biblical text, I'll be honest with you guys. There's some stuff that I don't feel comfortable really dealing with because I feel as though it feels strange saying those particular things. But again, we know who they, we, they told us wrote the text. I analyze things. I'm not, when I bring something to you, I'm not telling you this is factual. I'm just telling you, wow, you know, have you ever thought about it like this? To each his own, right? So, you know, um, some of the stuff I don't, you know, I hesitate or uh, if it doesn't feel right, I'm just not going to do it. I'm just not going to deal with it because I do feel that the more, especially when you're in a state of a certain uh, level of awareness um, and there's a certain level of something in your, <laughs> uh, let's see, um, of being able to speak things into existence to a certain extent. I'm just, I just like to be particularly, you know, I'm, I'm just learning my own way that it is true that words are, could be damaging. Um, and they do, you know, um, you know, so, uh, so I can understand where people are coming from, but until we get some other type of, or form of, um, uh, and again, I, I know that there's telepathic ways to, uh, you know, deal with each other right now in this day, but until we find out another language or until we start learning how to hum something or something, you know what I'm saying? We're going to have to use text. We're going to be reading books. We're going to be reading things. Um, um, so again, <laughs> it's just, the way it is or and I can sit here and speak to you the whole time without showing you the words and without letting you know that you can go to this article on your own and then um it's we're still speaking the same words so um or we're just still coming up with the same um we're just analyzing it I guess a little bit more looking at it this way okay so um yeah so it says here Kali is uh, has emerged um, as personified wrath of Divine Mother Dur uh, Durga. Uh, she appears emancipated. Okay, we already read that part. Um, what I was saying about the red eyes is because I was looking at something about Ishtar. 
and it was in Hathar again. There, to take it out. Um, so I was looking at all of, <clears throat> I was looking at information about this and how so many people are making reference to it being the same entity. Um, and I remember seeing like an ivory colored uh, statue of uh, Ishtar or Esther um, with the red eyes. Um, you know, and, you know, I just, just wanted to put that out there really quick because I just remembered that. Um, she is clad in a tiger skin and carries a skull top staff um and then again <laughs> there's another image of uh ishtar carrying a staff but her staff has like a v-shape um it's like a a v-shaped uh something um at the top of it i don't know it's hard to explain but i'm going to show you guys some images we're going to just look at some images later and just analyze them um so maybe i'll i'll be able to show it there. So it says a garland of human heads adorned her neck. Her uh, gaping mouth shows her to be a fearsome, bloodthirsty deity. And again, what does this really actually mean? You know, what is bloodthirsty? Could, could, could a bloodthirsty deity today be someone that is spewing out things that is going to cause harm to someone? Is it going to cause harm to themselves? Is this just, you know, a way to make something scary so that you refrain from doing it? Was she just making a commotion about something that needed to be said? Was she just speaking truth? What does this mean? You know, the battle um, culminates with the slaying of two demon generals, um, Kanda and Munda. And this act earns her the name of Kamunda. Okay. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, let's keep going. So it says in the next episode, Kamunda, <laughs> I like the way it sounds. Okay, let me stop. Takes on the demon uh, Raktabiya. Um, his, name's, his name means he whose seed is blood. Yes. Okay, here, here I come. Whenever a drop of his blood falls upon the ground, another demon of equal size and strength springs up. Don't it feel like that, y'all, these days? These demons that we fighting against? <laughs> you know, you battle one thing and it's another. And it's just like, okay, you know, okay, what? <laughs> um, but again, you know, um, sometimes it can spring up in those times a form of... Mm, like a shudder or whatnot, but then you have to go, and this is where I used to be like, oh, faith or whatever, you know, nah. you know, but, but then you figure faith without works is dead. So if you're in the faith and you're doing the works, the world will have you try to gravitate and do everything else besides that work. And that's what I cannot stand about this world. I just want to be, <laughs> you know, and I want to be within me. But the more you are in you, the more afraid they are of you and the more powerful you begin to be. And so, again, this is the last thing anybody would want. All right. So he sheds blood profusely until the world is teeming with Rakta Bija. Um, just when the battle looks hopeless and the onlooking gods uh, despair, Kamunda roams the battlefield avidly lapping up the blood and again and more lapping up the blood kind of like a segment okay and crushing the narcent demons between her gnashing teeth finally drained of his last drop of blood Raktabia topples lifeless to the ground all right, y'all, that's part two. Um, I have to take some food out the oven, so I'll be back. But um, yeah, stay tuned.